In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 2023 New Year slide and this is how the slide looks when I click. You can see here I have created a black background or any dark color background you can use and then I've used some different color combination and you can just put some animation effect and then you can say Happy New Year and I've added one more slide where I have used the white background you can see here and one more slide where I have used some colorful background within the text okay so depending on the requirement you can just choose the slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert text box i'm going to type the year 2023 and then the font which I'm going to use is called the Futura X Bold BT, okay? XBLK BT. And just click. So we end up getting a font something like this. And this font by default it is not available. You need to download it or you can use any font of your choice. And then the font size I'm going to make this as close to 345, okay? let me just zoom out and then i'm just going to make it like this all right center align and put it here or if it is too big maybe you can make it to 300 all right so now you can see i've got this much big font size for the year 2023 then the next thing which I'm going to do is go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle by leaving some part of the, the ear. You can see here some part I just left. Don't put it like this here. Put it something which is okay. Something looks like this. And then I'm going to hold the control shift key. Add one more. Again, the same thing which I'm going to do at the bottom also, leaving something. And let's have some gap here like this. And then both select this one and send this to back. And make sure these two are shape outline. Make it no outline. Then I'm going to add one more rectangle here again in the center. All right. Again, shape outline, no outline. Maybe you can reduce the width all right and i'm going to hold the control shift key and i'm just going to add one more here and one more here all right and here for this maybe sorry for this i think i will reduce the width okay something like this right so you can see here i've added uh the year the text 2023 with uh, 300 font size and then i have added two rectangles here and then i have added three vertical rectangles all right now the next part is i'm just going to duplicate this slide in case if something goes wrong we have a backup slide all right so now i'm going to select all the objects by pressing ctrl a all right then go to the shape format merge shape and say fragment all right now I don't want the unwanted objects. I'm just simply going to delete this one. You can see. All right. And from the top also, I'm going to just delete this one. And from the bottom also, I'm going to delete this one. Now I'm going to select this one and this one and shape fill, make it white. You can see here. And if you want, you can delete the from the center also just delete it okay then i'm going to select this one and this one white font you can see here all right now the next thing is now i'm going to choose each object can you see here it becomes like this all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some different color format for this one so right mouse click go to format shape and randomly i'm going to choose some colors you can see here i'm going to choose some different color combinations maybe i'm going to choose green here i'm going to choose uh, maybe a pink here then i'm going to choose uh, maybe a purple a blue you can see here different different color combinations i can 
choose all right and here also i'm going to choose maybe a pink kind of a pink then i'm going to choose a different color combination for here either you can repeat the combinations or you can give entirely a different color combination all right so you can see here i'm just giving all together some different color combinations so now here i'll give some kind of a red and here i'll give some orange i will give some here green and i'm going to give some kind of a uh, blue so you can see here i have made a design which looks something like this the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to group this one so i'm going to select only the top part you can see here only this one and press ctrl g to group it you can see here this got group now i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to select the bottom part press ctrl g to group it again from here i'm going to select this one ctrl g and here also i'm going to select sorry let me just do it again ctrl g all right so like this you need to just group it one by one because why we need to do the grouping is to do the animation all right so let me just do this the last part and ctrl g all right then go to insert text box i'm going to add happy new year all right you can use any font i'm going to use helvetica maybe make it bold center align and till here align it properly and increase the size and again whichever color which you feel you can just add that particular color and put it here so you can see here our design is ready now it's time to do some uh, basic animation and likewise you can give some different color combinations also if you want okay so let me just close down this one go to the animations enable the animation pane the first one i'm going to choose okay i can just go to add animations more entrance effects so i've got a wide variety of animations here you can see here whichever animation which you want you can see here stretch rise up float up or you can see here maybe expand whichever so let me just choose maybe how it looks like okay or i can choose maybe something pinwheel pinwheel is not looking good this is also not one okay let me just choose uh, this one and and if you want if it is not good we can change it at any time and click ok now the same thing i'm just going to copy it here okay and this should happen with previous and make sure that both of these should be very fast otherwise it will slow means it will not look good so here i'm going to make it very fast and click ok all right the same thing i'm going to do the animation copy the animation and paste it here again do this part you can see here and then this one and if you want this to happen after previous also i can just make it after previous okay so if i play now so it comes something like this all right again if you want to delay something you can delay a little bit so that uh, each will have it will take its own time here so the first one comes like that you can see here something like this all right so likewise you can go and create something like this also here i have just used uh, for example let me just show you here i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d so only this part i have taken okay let me just ungroup this so that you can know what exactly i'm going to do so now i'm going to choose only this part and press ctrl g to group it close this one go to format shape under picture and texture fill click insert select online pictures or if you're having the pictures from your local uh, pc also you can add it here and i'm going to just say uh, any background shapes or background design all right or you can just say trigonometric design or whatever see you've got wide variety for example if i want to just choose this one and click insert and it got inserted here the same thing you know i've just put the white or the black background here 
so whichever way you want you can just uh, do that particular uh, slide design 